March 29, the land given to Joshua. After all the land was divided among the tribes, the Israelites gave a piece of land to Joshua as his allocation, for the Lord had said he could have any town he wanted. He chose Timnath Sirah in the hill country of Ephraim. He rebuilt the town and lived there. These are the territories that Eleazar the priest, Joshua son of Nun, and the tribal leaders allocated as grants of land to the tribes of Israel by casting sacred lots in the presence of the Lord at the entrance of the tabernacle at Shiloh. So the division of the land was completed. The Cities of Refuge The Lord said to Joshua, Now tell the Israelites to designate the cities of refuge as I instructed Moses. Anyone who kills another person accidentally and unintentionally can run to one of these cities. They will be places of refuge from relatives seeking revenge for the person who was killed. Upon reaching one of these cities, the one who caused the death will appear before the elders at the city gate and present his case. They must allow him to enter the city and give him a place to live among them. If the relatives of the victim come to avenge the killing, the leaders must not release the slayer to them, for he killed the other person unintentionally and without previous hostility. But the slayer must stay in that city and be tried by the local assembly, which will render a judgment. And he must continue to live in that city until the death of the high priest who was in office at the time of the accident. After that, he is free to return to his own home in the town from which he fled. The following cities were designated as cities of refuge. Kedesh of Galilee, in the hill country of Naphtali. Shechem, in the hill country of Ephraim. And Kirith Arba, that is Hebron, in the hill country of Judah. On the east side of the Jordan River, across from Jericho, the following cities were designated. Bezer, in the wilderness plain of the tribe of Reuben. Ramoth, in Gilead, in the territory of the tribe of Gad. And Golan, in Bashan, in the land of the tribe of Manasseh. These cities were set apart for all the Israelites, as well as the foreigners living among them. Anyone who accidentally killed another person could take refuge in one of these cities. In this way, they could escape being killed in revenge prior to standing trial before the local assembly. The Towns Given to the Levites Then the leaders of the tribe of Levi came to consult with Eleazar the priest, Joshua son of Nun, and the leaders of the other tribes of Israel. They came to them at Shiloh in the land of Canaan and said, The Lord commanded Moses to give us towns to live in and pasture lands for our livestock. So by the command of the Lord, the people of Israel gave the Levites the following towns and pasture lands out of their own grants of land. The descendants of Aaron, who were members of the Kohathite clan within the tribe of Levi, were allotted thirteen towns that were originally assigned to the tribes of Judah, Simeon, and Benjamin. The other families of the Kohathite clan were allotted ten towns from the tribes of Ephraim, Dan, and the half-tribe of Manasseh. The clan of Gershon was allotted thirteen towns from the tribes of Issachar, Asher, Naphtali, and the half-tribe of Manasseh in Bashan. The clan of Mirari was allotted twelve towns from the tribes of Reuben, Gad, and Zebulun. So the Israelites obeyed the Lord's command to Moses and assigned these towns and pasture lands to the Levites by casting sacred lots. The Israelites gave the following towns from the tribes of Judah and Simeon to the descendants of Aaron, who were members of the Kohathite clan within the tribe of Levi, since the sacred lot fell to them first. Kiriath Arba, that is Hebron, in the hill country of Judah, along with its surrounding pasture lands. Arba was an ancestor of Anak. But the open fields beyond the town and the surrounding villages were given to Caleb, son of Jephunneh, as his possession. The following towns with their pasture lands were given to the descendants of Aaron the priest. Hebron, a city of refuge for those who accidentally killed someone. Libna, Jatir, Eshtimoa, Holon, Deber, Ain, Juta, and Beth Shemesh, nine towns from these two tribes. From the tribe of Benjamin, the priests were given the following towns with their pasture lands. Gibeon, Geba, Anathoth, and Almon, four towns. So in all, thirteen towns with their pasture lands were given to the priests, the descendants of Aaron. The rest of the Kohathite clan from the tribe of Levi was allotted the following towns and pasture lands from the tribe of Ephraim. Shechem in the hill country of Ephraim, a city of refuge for those who accidentally killed someone. Gezer, Kibzaim, and Beth Horon, four towns. The following towns and pasture lands were allotted to the priests from the tribe of Dan, Eltica, Gibbethon, Ajalon, and Gathrimmon, four towns. The half tribe of Manasseh allotted the following towns with their pasture lands to the priests, Taanach and Gathrimmon, 
two towns. So in all, ten towns with their pasture lands were given to the rest of the Kohathite clan. The descendants of Gershon, another clan within the tribe of Levi, received the following towns with their pasture lands from the half-tribe of Manasseh. Golan in Bashan, a city of refuge for those who accidentally killed someone, and Beeshtura, two towns. From the tribe of Issachar, they received the following towns with their pasture lands. Kishin, Debreth, Jarmuth, and Enganim, four towns. From the tribe of Asher, they received the following towns with their pasture lands. Mishael, Abdon, Hilkath, and Rehob, four towns. From the tribe of Naphtali, they received the following towns with their pasture lands. Kedesh in Galilee, a city of refuge for those who accidentally killed someone. Hamath Dor and Kartan, three towns. So in all, thirteen towns with their pasture lands were allotted to the clan of Gershon. The rest of the Levites, the Merari clan, were given the following towns with their pasture lands from the tribe of Zebulun. Jachnium, Karta, Dimna, and Nahalal, four towns. From the tribe of Reuben, they received the following towns with their pasture lands. Bezer, Jahaz, Kedemoth, and Mephath, four towns. From the tribe of Gad, they received the following towns with their pasture lands. Ramoth in Gilead, a city of refuge for those who accidentally killed someone. Maenaim, Heshbon, and Jazer, four towns. So in all, twelve towns were allotted to the clan of Mirari. The total number of towns and pasture lands within Israelite territory given to the Levites came to forty-eight. Every one of these towns had pasture lands surrounding it. So the Lord gave to Israel all the land he had sworn to give their ancestors, and they took possession of it and settled there. And the Lord gave them rest on every side, just as he had solemnly promised their ancestors. None of their enemies could stand against them, for the Lord helped them conquer all their enemies. Not a single one of all the good promises the Lord had given to the family of Israel was left unfulfilled. Everything he had spoken came true. Territory for the Levites This is a record of the towns and territory assigned by means of sacred lots to the descendants of Aaron, who were from the clan of Kohath. This territory included Hebron and its surrounding pasture lands in Judah. But the fields and outlying areas belonging to the city were given to Caleb, son of Jephunneh. So the descendants of Aaron were given the following towns, each with its pasture lands. Hebron, a city of refuge, Libna, Jeter, Eshtimoah, Holon, Deber, Ain, Jutta and Beth Shemesh. And from the territory of Benjamin, they were given Gibeon, Geba, Alameth, and Anathoth, each with its pasture lands. So thirteen towns were given to the descendants of Aaron. The remaining descendants of Kohath received ten towns from the territory of the half-tribe of Manasseh by means of sacred lots. The descendants of Gershon received by sacred lots thirteen towns from the territories of Issachar, Asher, Naphtali, and from the Bashan area of Manasseh east of the Jordan. The descendants of Merari received by sacred lots twelve towns from the territories of Reuben, Gad, and Zebulun. So the people of Israel assigned all these towns and pasture lands to the Levites. The towns in the territories of Judah, Simeon, and Benjamin, mentioned above, were assigned to them by means of sacred lots. The descendants of Kohath were given the following towns from the territory of Ephraim, each with its pasture lands. Shechem, a city of refuge in the hill country of Ephraim, Gezer, Jachmium, Beth Horon, Ajalon, and Gath Rimmon. The remaining descendants of Kohath were assigned the towns of Aner and Bileam from the territory of the half tribe of Manasseh, each with its pasture lands. The descendants of Gershon received the towns of Golan in Bashan, and Ashtaroth from the territory of the half-tribe of Manasseh, each with its pasture lands. From the territory of Issachar, they were given Kedesh, Dabareth, Ramoth, and Anam, each with its pasture lands. From the territory of Asher, they received Marshall, Abdon, Hukuk, and Rehob, each with its pasture lands. From the territory of Naphtali, they were given Kedesh in Galilee, Haman and Kiriathaim, each with its pasture lands. The remaining descendants of Mirari received the towns of Jachnium, Karta, Rimmon, and Tabor from the territory of Zebulun, each with its pasture lands. From the territory of Reuben, east of the Jordan River, opposite Jericho, they received Bezer, a desert town, Jahaz, Kedemoth, and Mephaath, each with its pasture lands. And from the territory of Gad, they received Ramoth in Gilead, Maenaim, Heshbon, and Jazer, 
each with its pasture lands.